what's on your mind? I heard what you said about me to your mother last night. Where were you? In the hall. I didn't mean to listen at first. I guess I better go back to Eclair. It sounds such a nuisance. I've tried to be nice and I've first been neglected and then insulted. No one ever visited me and got such treatment. <sighs> but I'm in the way. I'm, see, I'm a drag on you. And I know your friends don't like me. Of course, I was serious last week when you tried to hint that the dress was unbecoming. Don't you know? Don't you think I know how to dress myself? No. What? I didn't hint anything. I said, as I remember, that it's better to wear a becoming dress three times straight than to alternate between two fright dresses. Do you think that's a very nice thing to say? I wasn't trying to be nice. When do you want to go? Oh. Then you say you were going? Oh, you were only bluffing. So you were bluffing? You're my cousin. I'm visiting you and I was to stay a month. If I go home now, my mother will know and she'll wonder. I'll give you my month's allowance. And you can spend it this last week wherever you want. There's a very nice hotel. I suppose I'd better get my railroad ticket. Just wait till I finish this letter. I want to get it off in the next mail. Do you want me to go home? If you're not having a good time, you'd better go. No use in being miserable. Don't you think common nice? Please don't quote little woman. That's out of style. You think so? And yes. What modern girl could live like those inane females? They were models for our mothers. Yes, they were. Not. Besides, our mothers are all very well in their way, but they know little about their daughter's problems. Please don't talk about my mother. I don't think I mentioned her. Do you think you've treated me very well? I've done my best. You're rather hard material to work with. I think you're hard and selfish and have a feminine quality in you. Oh my lord, you little nut! Girls like you are responsible for all the tiresome, colorless marriages. All those ghastly inefficiencies that pass as feminine qualities. What a blow it must be when a man with imagination marries the beautiful bundle of clothes that he's been building ideals around and finds that she's just a weak, whining, cowardly mass of affectation. The womanly woman, her whole life is occupied in whining criticism of girls like me who really do have a good time. There's some, there's some excuse for an ugly girl whining. If I'd been irretrievably ugly, I'd never have forgiven my parents for bringing me into the world. But you're starting life without any handicap. If you expect me, expect me to weep with you, you'll be disappointed. Go or stay, just as you like. I've decided that maybe you're right about things. Possibly not, but if you tell me why your friends aren't interested in me, then maybe I'll see if I can do what you want me to do. Do you mean it? Yes. Will you do exactly as I say? Why? Well, nothing. Will you do exactly what I say? If they're sensible things. They're not. You're no case for sensible things. Are you going to make? To recommend. Yes, everything. If I tell you to take boxing lessons, you'll have to do it. Write home and tell your mother you're going to stay another two weeks. If you tell me. Right, I'll just give you a few examples now. First, you have no ease of manner. Why? Because you're never sure about your personal appearance. When a girl feels like she's perfectly groomed and dressed, she can forget that part of her. That's charm. The more per parts of yourself you can afford to forget, the more charm you have. Don't I look alright? No, for instance, you never take care of your eyebrows. They're black and lustrous, but by leaving them straggly, they're blemish. They'd be beautiful if you take care of them, and one-tenth the time you, took, you take doing nothing. You're going to brush them so they'll grow straight. Do you mean to say that men notice my eyebrows?
yes, subconsciously. And when you go home, you ought to have your teeth straightened a little. It's almost imperceptible, still. But I thought that you despised dainty little feminine things like that. I hate dainty minds, but a girl has to be a dainty person. If she looks like a million dollars, she can talk about Russia, ping pong, or the League of Nations and get away with it. What else? Oh, I'm just beginning. There's your dancing. Don't I dance all right? No, you don't. You lean on a man. Yeah, you do. Ever so slightly. I noticed it when you were dancing together yesterday. And you dance standing up straight instead of bending over a little. Probably some old lady on the sideline once told you that you look so dignified that way. But except with a very small girl, it's much harder on the man. And he's the one that counts. Go on. Well, you've got to learn to be nice to men who are sad birds. You look as if you've been insulted whenever you're thrown with any except the most popular boys. Why, Bernice? I'm cutting it I'm cutting in on every few feet, and who does most of it? Why does ver why those very sad birds? Why those very sad birds? No girl can afford to neglect them. They're the big part of any crowd. Young boys too shy to talk are the very best conversational practice. Clumsy boys are the best dancing practice. If you can follow them and yet look graceful, you can follow a baby tank across a barbed wire skyscraper. If you go to a dance and really amuse, say, three sad birds that dance with you, if you talk so well to them that they forget they're stuck with you, you've done something. They're, they'll come back next time, and gradually, so many sad birds will dance with you that the attractive boys will see there's no danger of being stuck. Then they'll dance with you. Yes, I think I'd begin to see. And finally, poise and charm will just come. You'll wake up some morning knowing you attained it, and men will know it too. It's been awfully kind of you. But nobody's ever talked to me this way before, and I, I feel sort of startled. You're a peach to help me. I know you don't like sentiment. Oh, I wasn't thinking about that. I was considering whether we hadn't better bob your hair. Mm -hmm.